A greening of the transportation sector will only be a greening if it goes in tandem with a greening of the electricity sector. If we look at the transport market, we could look at it from a perspective of, of a number of firms and individuals making, making all individual choices that do not necessarily take into account the common good. And all of these individuals deciding in the morning to drive to work, the firms deciding to order goods, etc., they take into account their own costs. It will be costly to travel to work, but it also has a benefit. Your boss will be happy if you're on time and, and you won't get fired. And so all of these individuals take these costs and these benefits into, into account and, and, and they, they take these decisions. But that doesn't necessarily reflect the common good because there are at least three important market failures or reasons why those decisions do not reflect the common good. And the first one is climate change, the second one is air pollution, and the third one is, is congestion. Those three market failures are, are not taken into account in the transport sector, and so transport is something great, but we all want it and we all make decisions that lead to a transportation sector that could improve a lot and could be made better uh, for, uh, for everyone. 16% of vehicle sales in Europe were electric vehicles, um, and that's passenger vehicles, but also in, in transportation and in public transport, we're seeing buses and trucks being electrified and, and, and becoming battery electric um, vehicle. When you translate the electricity of a battery into movement, you don't create pollution at that point. So that's why they call them zero emission vehicles, electric vehicles, where they are when they drive, they do not contribute to climate change and they do not create air pollution for bystanders. So that sounds fantastic, but I think there are three really big challenges when it comes to the electrification of, of the transport market. And the first is that the transformation of the electricity into movement doesn't generate pollution and carbon emissions, but the generation of the electricity itself might. And so a greening of the transportation sector will only be a greening if it goes in tandem with a greening of the electricity sector. The second challenge of, of, of electrification is, is its cost. The final challenge that, that we have with this electrification of, of the transport sector is, is, is a network issue. So today, if you take your car, you're confident that you find a gas station nearby. Um, and charging of electric vehicles, again, when we scale up the electrical vehicle fleet towards the whole uh, transport sector, will, will be a challenge. Our electricity network is not ready for big scale charging. Uh, and so we need more chargers, we need more fast chargers, and we need the network capacity to charge all these vehicles. I think it's, it's, the question has two parts. You say we have to design a policy. I think it's also important to state that in the transport there is an enormous amount of existing policy also. Uh, it's a very regulated industry that has many existing taxes. As, as Jerry pointed out, we need to evaluate current costs in, in, in the current system. And what we need to think about is, is can we change the current system of, of incentives and taxes so that it delivers better incentives for participants to, to get to, to better solutions.